I, I enjoy shooting the west, I enjoy shooting mountains, scenery. I also enjoy uh, like Route 66, the memory of it, the, the old dilapidated homes, beat up cars, I just, I don't know why, but it's in my DNA to like that subject matter. My name is Tom Furterbar, and I'm a retired advertising and fine art photographer. I wanted to be a photographer from the age of 12 when my sister gave me a box camera. I really found it a nice way to uh, express my emotions. I'm better, I think, at doing it visually than in words. It's a strange thing. Uh, all I knew was I wanted to be a photographer. When I finished uh, high school, I applied at the Milwaukee Journal to be a photographer. And of course, uh, with a high school education, they wouldn't accept me, but they gave me a job as a copy boy, which was an editorial assistant. $18 a week. <laughs> I worked there about a year and a half, but they kept telling me, Tom, you gotta go to college if you wanna be a photographer here. So I went to University of Wisconsin, graduated from there, and uh, moved on to, uh, to, to spend one year at the Leighton School of Art. My personal photography is, right now, it's devoted to shooting the Tetons National Park and Route 66. It's difficult to shoot the old road. It's pretty hard to make a good picture of the, of the old road. But I, liked, I enjoy shooting the older buildings as they're dilapidating. And in a way, there'll always be the ability to shoot Route 66 because the buildings along the way, some of them are decaying more and more and more. And some of the newer ones today will be decaying in 10 or 12 years. So there's always a new supply of old buildings and old cars and so on to photograph, so it isn't like you've exactly run out of subjects. My plan normally is to say shoot one state, okay, let's say I'm going to go out this trip for 10 or 12 days and I'll shoot New Mexico. So I'll drive to the edge of New Mexico and then start shooting. Uh, might take me three or four or five days to cross New Mexico, then I'll come back because coming back you see different things, the lighting is different, you see subjects from a different angle, so I'll shoot New Mexico coming back too. And then if I see something in some of the other states, Missouri or Kansas or Illinois, I'll shoot them too, but basically I'll go out and shoot one state. I like black and white for some fine art subjects. For Raw 66, I think I like the color better. Ansel Adams is probably my, uh, my primary uh, mentor. I learned about him, oh, I guess that would be shortly after I finished college in the 50s. And uh, was lucky enough to get an invitation to one of his seminars. It was his third seminar and he only accepted 20 students. And the seminar was 10 days long, but it was a tremendous experience working with him. It was just a marvelous experience. And I'll, that's one I'll never forget. We were out there one day uh, near Mariposa, California, photographing some barns. And then I saw near the bottom of the barn, a cluster of uh, barley growing up in front of the weathered wood of the barn. And I said, God, that'd be a beautiful shot. But boy, it's gonna look just like Ansel Adams shot it, you know, and he's here. And if I set up my camera, he's gonna say, can't you do anything original, you know? So I set it up to make a horizontal cropping, which I knew was wrong because it should be vertical. Everything was going that way and you shouldn't try to make something vertical into a horizontal. But anyways, I set it up. Okay, Ansel came by a little while later and he bent down under the focusing cloth, which is that black cloth that covers the camera. And he looked into the camera for a while and he took the cloth off and he looked at me and he said, Tom, don't you think that should be a vertical? So that really made me happy because that's what I wanted, so of course I took the back of the camera, turned it, made my vertical shot, and uh, that's one of the shots that I'm most proud of from that series. His philosophy was a camera is designed and the lens is designed to make things sharp and to show detail. That's kind of what I took away from him. Pictures should be sharp from, black, from the foreground to the distance, if you can, and you should have a full range of values from solid black to pure white. There's such a great variety there at Yosemite. Tremendous just variety of uh, subjects to shoot. When I make a photograph, my goal is to have the, the viewer experience the same emotion when, when they look at the photograph that I did when I saw the subject. 
I'm hoping that I can transmit my feelings, my emotions in terms of the print so that the person can get the same response that I did.